Hi, this is Igor. I'll show you how to set up a Minecraft Bedrock server in a Docker container in Linux. Rolling out the server is easy. What was hard is that the Minecraft server setup is poorly documented, the server is buggy, and Minecraft has a confusing product lineup. It took me several days to realize there are two versions of Minecraft, Java Edition and Bedrock. These two versions are not compatible. I was scratching my head for hours trying to connect an iPad Minecraft, which is Bedrock, to a Java Edition server, and that does not work. Back to Docker. If you use Docker, you already know the benefits of Docker containers. If you're not familiar with it, Docker allows you to very quickly deploy containers, which are something like very low overhead virtual machines, but better. Each container is isolated from the host machine. If something fails, the damage is contained inside the container. You can delete the container and start another one in seconds. I'm also interested in running multiple versions of Bedrock servers because Minecraft seems to be not backwards compatible. Game clients and servers all have to be on the same version. This is impractical, but it's easy to address by using multiple server versions in separate containers, each listening on a different port. Let's start. I'm doing this on Ubuntu per Minecraft's instructions, but I'm pretty sure any Debian-based distro would work just as well. Maybe you would need to manually install some missing dependencies. I also imagine it wouldn't be very different to replicate these steps on Mac OS either. You'd install Docker on Debian or Ubuntu like this, but I already have it. The first thing you need to do is pull the Ubuntu OS image. My existing image is already the latest. You can see that right here. We'll create a container from this image. The nethost option tells Docker to mesh together the host machine and Docker's network interfaces. Normally containers can see the outside world, but you can't look in. Nethost allows IP traffic to come inside the container. This is not the best way to set it up, but I'm not building a production server right now. It's just a test running on my laptop. We're inside the container now. It feels just like a normal command line in Linux because it really is, but we're no longer in my laptop's OS. I'll go to the home directory and make a Minecraft directory. Let's first update the apt because we'll install a couple of packages that we need. Let's install unzip, nano text editor, and wget. On the Minecraft website, we'll right-click the server download button and copy the address of the link. Back in the Docker container, we'll type wget and paste the address. wget will download the server zip file for us. I'll unzip the file. I don't need the zip file any longer, so let's delete it. The package contains this how-to HTML, and this is how you launch the server. I'll change the server properties to give our server a custom name. This file, server.properties, contains important configuration options. I will create a bash script called run.sh and add the startup line into it. Save and exit. Let's make the run.sh executable. This is how we start the server. The server failed because there's a missing library in the latest Ubuntu, but we can fix it like this. Now let's try to start the server again, and the server is running. I just need to revise something in the run script that we made. We actually only need this full statement for the initial server launch. We can remove this variable assignment and save the script. On the client side, we need to add the server. While playing with this setup using an iPad, the friends tab would sometimes auto-discover the server and sometimes would not. I couldn't figure out why that was happening, but the sure way to add the server is by using the servers tab. For that, we need our host machine's IP address, which we can list like this. The host machine will send the traffic on port 19132 to the Minecraft server running in the container. And the user is connected now. To stop the server, we use the stop command, and to exit the Docker container, we use exit. 
and now we're back in my laptop's command line, even though it looks pretty much the same, but uh, we're back in the laptop. We can rename the Docker container that we have just built like this. We'll call this one Minecraft Server 2. To restart this container, we use this command. And that is how you set up a Bedrock Minecraft server inside of a Docker container.